Uh, here we got the um, Zippo. It's actually like the Johnny hand warmer. And actually, I wish Johnny still made those damn they made the damn things because they got theirs stands up. This one's got a rounded bottom on it. I kind of don't like those. Uh, what are you gonna do, right? I get a Johnny vintage someplace, but um, let's see how this lights. I haven't lit this in about a year. See, this is the one from Zippo. Um, put some lighter fluid on it. There you go. You're not supposed to do it like that, actually. You're not supposed to burn it. But I do. <laughs> to get the damn ember started. You see, once it gets, once it's got a slow, this thing is supposed to, I don't even like these new style wicks, man. And I think it can make them besides, but they're probably some, some kind of material, probably. Instead of buying them. But once that wick gets going, alright, so you can see the flames pretty much going out. Yeah. So you see the wick in there? I kind of blow it on there. There's um, like a light glow. This thing will get real hot. It's starting to get hot now. Now I made the mistake of using uh, charcoal lighter fluid in these. It don't work too good. You got to use the Zippo stuff, man, or something like equivalent of it. Not charcoal lighter fluid because I found out charcoal lighter fluid don't work right in the Zippo lighters, don't work right in the hand warmers. But yeah, this thing's getting warm, and you can see that embers in there. I don't know if you could see it because they could just turn it like this. Yeah, you could see it. You could see it clear as a, you could see it in the camera. See it? Yeah. That's the way it burns. It's got a controlled catalytic burn. Now I don't know why these have gotten more out of favor. Probably because of millennials. Let me get this stand on here, right? <laughs> Probably because of millennials or something. I don't even know, man. I should be picking on them. Hey, you millennials, you better listen to this. <laughs> this thing is reusable. That's what's good. The only thing that kind of messes up on them is the wick. Like, you're not really supposed to light them the way I did there with too much flame, but I don't really think it's a problem. Um, and what I do, like, this wick pulls out. This pulls out. This pulls off the top, and then you fill it up you know you put some squirts of lighter fluid in there that's what fills it up and these will last about hmm depends on the airflow because you put this on you gotta really kinda get it cooking first you put it in this bag because this thing will get so damn hot you really can't touch it so you put it in this bag just a little cloth bag and this bag controls the burn how fast it goes because um you have some of the holes filled up like that you get less air or you have it like that it, it lasts maybe sometimes up to 12 hours if you got it really filled up but the thing is these last over and over and over again unlike the damn um, chemical ones you know I mean I'm not maybe they're easier to use but you pay for them every freaking time and this one using a Zippo fluid or you can use something else besides that um, naphtha whatever they call that stuff I forgot what it is but not charcoal lighter fluid because charcoal lighter fluid it just doesn't burn right with this man you'll be lighting it a few times it'll go for maybe a few hours and it'll burn out but yeah this thing's working but it, it takes probably about 20 minutes or so to really get going and uh, you, you can see the ember in there see it That's all it does. That ember just keeps it going, man. And actually, I think those wicks, you could probably make those out of something instead of buying a little bullshit wicks. I'm sure you could. Just like every other thing they freaking tell you you can't do. But these are way better than the chemical ones. And what's the good about them is um, you could put this... Say, say it's like a hand warmer and like I said no, this thing is not really cranking up just yet it's gonna get so hot that my hand can't touch it 
then you put it in this little bag right and then it kind of slows down to burn a little bit how fast it's you know putting out heat um, but you could put this in any part of your body that feels cold if it's your back of your neck or even I know you're not supposed to do this you can put it in your sleeping bag more or less you know they, they tell you not to do that because maybe it's uh, too restrictive but a lot of people I remember we used to use these in the sleeping bags all the time um but I think this one with the controlled rate of burn with um, just using a lighter to get it going is the way to do it not the chemical ones like I said this this thing pops off this thing pops off on the top and you fill it up with lighter fluid down there. It's got a bunch of cotton. I don't know some kind of material in there that fills up. But what I like to do is even that material that's in below this this top part, whatever the igniter, whatever you call that, I pull it up a little bit and out so it touches that. And because if it's not touching that, the fuel vapors. It's supposed to work off the fuel vapors, but I'm I, f I found if you just pull some strands out from this thing to that, it really keeps it very reliably working. And this thing will just go and go and go. I mean, if you fill it up, it depends on the, it's like 8 to 12 hours. But, um, you know, it's it's like you just refill it, man. You just refill it if you got to re redo it. And it just, it just what it does. It just freaking does that. I, I think a lot of people just don't know about these damn things, though. I almost guarantee you, most of the younger generation doesn't know about this crap. Um, but, you know, once they get too hot, you put them in this bag. This slows down. It still burns. But then you'll feel it won't burn your hand. And if you want to make it crank it up a little more to get more faster burn, just open it up like that and give it a little more air and then it'll burn it'll start you know putting out more heat but um man I remember these things all the time man and I tell you I wish they I made I wish they made I don't think they make the Johnny warmer anymore the classic um this one is good though I mean it's a genuine made in USA Zippo the one thing is I don't understand is why Zippo makes this rounded on the bottom I hate that I really have it where stand it up. I don't know why the hell they do that. Knuckleheads, man, because <laughs> it's it's good when you're trying to get it going. Or if you just want to put it someplace for a second, it, it, it just stands up, you know. That's how the that's how the Johnny Warmer is. And they got one they got a giant one's like about this big. Man that thing that's like a little heater, man. <laughs> so you know, there's a lot of cool stuff you could do to give you some kind of heat and without spending a lot of money. And, uh, you know, there's another good thing to keep on you, too, in the wintertime. Because this will last you all freaking day. And that little bit of heat can make a big difference between getting a headache where your neck feels like you got a headache because of the weather on the back of your neck is, is I mean, the weather is getting to your back of your neck. And a lot of times that's what gives me a headache. I could pretty I could pretty much be at when, when it's really cold out. I mean I'm in Florida, but I used to go out in the snow and uh, shovel snow and shorts all the time sometimes. But I'd have on a uh, a beanie cap to keep my head warm and um, long sleeve sweatshirt. Sometimes I'd be out there in shorts shoveling snow, um, but it's the back of my neck that freaking in my head that really gets me. And you have this and you put this in a in your collar in the back there and you got this on top of that like that and it doesn't so it won't burn your skin boy that'll make a big difference because I think you get the headache from the cold it's caused the restriction of the blood vessels in the back of your neck going to your brain you know the blood vessels restrict from the cold right and that just gives you the headache because you're getting less blow, blood flow into the brain so this can make you feel a hell of a lot warmer and probably does make you a bit warmer. And the other thing is too, the part of your body that is really, really essential for 
keeping rational thought going as obviously is your brain so if you can keep the blood at the back of your neck you know those veins and stuff warm so it's it's going it's it's pumping some heat in there too and you know if you're getting too cold somewhere else in your extremities you know you want your thought processes working good whereby you can think rationally to get out of a situation so this thing could actually be a lifesaver and again you can see that ember and uh, I'm going to show you something else too um, that can be used as heat though it's not designed to be used as heat a lot of people just ignore it but I'll bring it out of here in a second well this damn thing the uh, <laughs> old kerosene heater which uh, lamp excuse me oil lamp and I don't actually use um, like I showed this before in another video on another channel I don't actually use um, you know lamp oil in this or kerosene I'm using straight diesel fuel BP stuff and uh, this thing will actually put out a little heat believe it or not not a lot but some and if you're in a tent oh, we gotta get up a little more than that mm. she, well a little more wick here if you're in a tent, could help if this thing works. There it is. If you're in a tent, this thing actually probably give you about 10 degrees better temperature to the warm side. And you know it works okay, man. Actually, that was a piss poor example of me lighting it because I think this thing ain't lighting. This thing's running out of fuel. Yeah, that's what's going on here. See. Half the time it ain't working, <laughs> just sparking. But uh, I got a couple more of those. But uh, yeah, I mean the thing is, this thing it, it actually Dietz makes one of these damn things that has a. It's D I E T Z. They make one of these that has like a little kettle pot that comes with it, and you can use it as a cooking stove too. I mean, it's a small little kettle pot. And it's more heavy duty than this just job or this thing's a light duty one but it's not going anywhere really it's not going to break if you don't freaking step on it or damage it in other ways but that'll run all night and it's i've used it um like on a little shelter i made for the two lemon trees during the frost and um you know it worked out fine it was actually you could tell it was pretty much a lot warmer underneath that shelter just with this in it so, I mean, even if I have it in here, which is in this little, I don't know, whatever you call it, carport thing or garage thing, it, it would warm it up a little bit because you could feel, you could feel a little heat coming off the top. It's not a lot, but that's enough to make a difference. And normally when you're outside in a tent or something, even if you're in your car, you could probably do this as long as you have the window cracked open a hair. Um, you know, it give you a little more heat. A lot of people aren't thinking of this kind of stuff and this this will run if you just got on a low flame like that and that's this like I said this is just I keep um, let's see down here this stuff okay diesel and I think I wrote it on here I don't know if you can see it but diesel with some alcohol and just straight rubbing rubbing alcohol just 90% just to thin it out of here that's what's running that and as long as you don't have that flame up too high it burns nice and clean so just keep it on a nice low flame and it'll burn for 12 hours but you could feel because I mean this glass gets hot so I mean you're generating some kind of heat I don't know why people don't keep these things around man I'll tell you it's really stupid the way people are thinking today and you know people are being victimized by a bunch of BS advertising and stuff this old school stuff here not only you got some heat but also got some light and I said even that thing Dietz puts out they got like a little kettle thing that goes on here and it's like a little tiny cooking surface I mean you can throw an egg in there or something and just cook it <laughs> it'll take a long time to do it but it'll do it eventually you can make some tea or whatever if you got to put it in that little cup thing and um it'll do the job and like I said I don't buy any expensive freaking lamp oil um, 
don't buy any expensive kerosene. I've seen Walmart. They're wanting like 10 bucks for a gallon for that crap. I got loads. I got like 800 something gallons left of BP diesel. So, <laughs> I don't know how long 800 gallons will last me, but probably, I don't know, a couple decades or something of using my kerosene perfection heater in my oil lamp. So, anyway, that's kind of a wrap. And uh, this thing here. Probably should have left it sitting straight up, but it's uh, yeah, it's warm. See if that see I, this thing actually when you start these out, I don't know if these things going out or not, but yeah, it probably went out. So that's the thing. That's the thing. You got to make sure. When you got these things going, um, this thing you got to like leave it open to the air for some minutes before you um, you know you put the bag on it. Especially you don't want to like leave it laying like that. That's one thing I can't stand about these that they don't have the bottom that sits it straight up. I'd recommend if you get one of these damn things, try to find a vintage. Johnny hand warmer versus the Zippo with the flat bottom on it. It's made in the USA. I know it's going to have to be old production, new old stock. And, you know, it's made out of real heavy stainless steel. Because uh, some of the Chinese knockoffs are very chintzy. You can bend them and stuff. You can feel them like going like this. This is a solid puppy, but I needed to leave that open to the air a little longer. And probably because I also used to run some. Uh, um, lighter fluid in it and it needs a lot more Zippo lighter it needs not lighter fluid I mean charcoal lighter fluid charcoal lighter fluid it needs to run more Zippo lighter fluid before it gets to burning again correctly so that's one of the reasons I brought it out but these things are extremely handy and you know if I relight this the second time and leave it outside the bag for about 30 minutes it'll work perfect for hours and uh, no problem so I didn't even have too much problem working that with um, um, the charcoal lighter fluid it does work but it's not really the right stuff to use and that's one of the reasons this got a little boogered up so we'll get that straightened out but these things are freaking good to go the only reason I was using the charcoal lighter fluid I was cheap just like I'm using the diesel over here but I haven't ever had any problems using the diesel. I have run this extensively with the diesel and I haven't had any problems with that at all. So this does throw out some heat. So it's like a little personal heater and a light source to sit there for hours and hours and hours, no problem at all, man. Something you know, a lot of people just don't realize today. Well, I lit this a second time and I just let it sit between these two bottles to hold them straight up. <coughs> it's hot as heck. It's hot as all hell right now, man. This thing is hot. I can't even touch it, basically. So, it works, just that I didn't let it start long enough. So, that's another lesson, you know, make sure you let it. That's one reason you probably want to get one of the Johnny Warmers, because it stands straight up, you know. God, man, I don't know why Zippo makes them like this. And now that it's real warm, and it's cooking really good, because I let it go for about 20 minutes or whatever it was, it's going to stay even working sideways you know or whatever so that's that's not the problem so there you go